Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm with Samantha. Hey guys. My name's Phil, and uh, we've done one song from John Denver on the channel thus far. It was a Rocky Mountain High yes. that we went on, and you were saying that you wanted to go camping. Roast some marshmallows. After, after listening Have to that one. Have yeah. We haven't done that yet. We haven't went camping. But um, it, was, it was an interesting take. It was a different type of song. You know, you don't really hear artists talking no. about nature that much. Yeah, it was very unique. Right, and so it's uh, Take Me Home Country Roads. Um, the reason why we're doing the wildlife concert on this one is because I believe we might know a little bit of this song. Uh, Take Me Home Country Roads. Like, I feel like that's a really popular hook. It's, uh, it's probably used on, um, you know, movies or something like that. Yeah. And uh, so we wanted to, you know, check out a different version of this one instead of just going, you know, to the studio version. So we're going to do uh, the wildlife concert. Really no idea what that is, but it seems like a really popular uh, video on YouTube. So we thought we'd check it out. And you guys were saying this is a good song to check out from John Denver. One of his biggest hits. I think it's one of West Virginia's renowned songs now. <laughs> I mean, he, he talks about West Virginia in the song, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Um, but it's, uh, as far as we were seeing beforehand, they were, you know, saying in terms of tourism. It's like a theme song. Yeah, it's, you know, West Virginia is very proud of this song. Yes. So, you ready to check out Take Me Home Country Roads? Yes, I am. Let's All do right, it. Alright, let's do it. West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is old then, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, growing like the breeze. Country roads, saying, take me home to the place. Together around her, mine is a lady, stranger to blue water. Dark and dusty, painted on the sky, misty taste of moonshine, teardrops in my eyes, country roads, take me home. So what were your thoughts on John Denver, Take Me Home, Country Roads? Did you recognize the song? I knew the song and I thought I was going to know it, but did you recognize it? It sounds kind of familiar, but I can't really like pinpoint where I would know it from. But it mm. does sound like kind of familiar to me, but not enough for me to be like, oh yeah, I definitely know that. Right. So um, with that said, did you enjoy it? Yeah, I thought it was like, 
I mean, not this one was, I would say, a little bit more upbeat than the, the last one, but it still had that kind of like country, feel good, naturey kind of like outdoorsy feel to me. Yeah, for sure. Which I liked, and I feel like that's kind of like his vibe, so I enjoyed that a lot. Yeah, I would agree that it had the full feel good essence to it. You yeah. Know, um, that's two songs from him, and that's both, you know, both songs have had the vibe of just feeling good while you're listening to it, mm. a really positive energy. Yeah. Um, you know, even his demeanor on the stage present mm. was super positive, lots yeah. of smiling going it's on. Relaxed and like laid back, loving it. Yeah, and just, you know, it's a great song. I, you know, I haven't listened to it in a really long time, but it's such a fantastic song. I mean, and then on top of that, seeing him do it live, I've never seen him live before, mm. and it's, he's, you know, seamless when he, he does mm. this live. Like, oh, you, so good. You would have, presume this to be a studio version because it's his vocal clear. sounds clear crisp yeah uh you know and the instrumentation got the banjo and his acoustic guitar mm. coming through really prominently there yeah. and you know everything just sounded like it was mixed really well um but you know like it's like you were saying the clarity i think is what it stood, it stood out the most to me he uh you know i wouldn't have thought for a minute that this was you know, a live version, live. I probably could have passed yeah. it for a studio version. Crazy. When I hear this, though, I think of just, like, open road on the highway with your convertible, listening to this, driving through, like, you know, down the coast. I feel yeah. like that's something that that would be good for. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's... It, it, that feel-good vibe, I think, you know, goes alongside the music and the lyrics, you know, kind of t painting that picture yeah. of home, Yeah. you know, and that homey feeling. Mm -hmm. I think he does a great job in, in communicating that in the song with the lyrics and... And you know just the sound that he provides as well. And people were saying in the comments too that actually he was he was an actor as well. He oh, was in wow. a lot of movies and stuff too. So um, I don't know from where, but uh, he's had a pretty successful career by the sounds. It's of also just kind of funny because this one they say has kind of become like the theme song of West Virginia. The last one they were saying has kind of become the theme song of like what was it Colorado? I yeah, think. I think so. Yeah. So he's just created all the theme songs for all the states. There you go. <laughs> he's got to pick a national park, and he's probably got a John Denver song. So. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our reaction to John Denver, Take Me Home, Country or Country Roads. I loved it. It was great. He's a fantastic mm -hmm. artist. So if you have any other recommendations that you want to let us know about, hit those comments below. We always appreciate the support, guys. So thank you so much for all the engagement that you provide, the mm -hmm. subscriptions. 75,000 subscribers in such a short period of time has been amazing. Yes, thank you guys so much. And we've really enjoyed the process. So we're going to continue that. And uh, hopefully that means we're going to see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.